I'm Łukasz Kułacz from Remedo Labs and today I want to demonstrate energy saving air app control over traffic steering X app in Open Run. Let's start with the concept of cell switching on and off. If we analyze network deployed in the city, we can split the covered area into regions with different traffic load observed during the day. In each part of the city, there are some moments of the time when the traffic load is very low and some of cells could be temporarily turned off. Proposed energy saving air app is located in non-real-time rig and receives information about long-term cell load through O1 interface. On the other hand, traffic steering X app receives information about current cell load used for load balancing. Energy saving air app sends two types of control messages. Firstly, it sends traffic steering policies through A1 interface to XAP, and secondly, it sends control message through O1 interface to turn off a cell. In meantime, traffic steering XAP influences on handover procedure, enhanced with information about UE's received power, cell load, and policies received from ERA. Let's consider two cases of traffic load change. When traffic load is decreasing, energy saving air app takes two step action. Firstly, it creates policy for traffic steering X app to move all users from capacity cells to coverage cells. If this step is completed, then air app sends command to turn off cells. In the second case, when traffic load is increasing, energy saving air app takes also two step action, but in reverse order. Firstly, air app sends command to turn on cells. If this step is completed, then air app creates policy for traffic stream X app to distribute all users to coverage and capacity cells. Energy saving air app will interact with traffic steering X app by A1 policy, sending a traffic steering preferences policies in version 2.0.0. Example of such policy is presented here. In this policy, we can define scope by indicating a size and traffic type by 5 UI value and preferences by list of cells and one of predefined preference. In this work, we consider a network deployed over some area with 5 cells and randomly distributed users of two traffic types. Coverage cell, macro cell, is located in the center, and four capacity cells, small cells, are located near the corners of area. In the meantime, we can observe physical resource block usage in percentage of each cells, and additionally, cumulative bitrate achieved in each cell. Let's move to the demonstration, firstly to scenario with decreasing traffic load. In this simulation, we can observe decreasing number of UEs by markers on the network map, physical resource block usage of each cell, or by average physical resource block usage observed by a RAP. When observed average PRB usage is low enough, a RAP takes action to disable a capacity cells with IDs from 1 to 4. To achieve this, AirApp firstly creates policies based on template that sets preference for each UE to forbid association with capacity cells. In the same time, there can be created policy that sets preference for each UE to shall association with coverage cell. In the result of this action, we can observe moving all UEs to coverage cell by marker shapes or non-zero bars achieved only for macro cell. Now let's move to the second scenario with increasing number of UEs.
When observed average PRB usage is too high, ERAP takes action to enable capacity cells again. To achieve this, ERAP removes all previously created policies. By this action, all preferences set for UEs are reverted to default ones, and UEs can be associated with any cell based on received power and load balancing algorithm. In a result of this action, we can observe firstly turning on capacity cells, and then slowly some of UEs are moved to these cells, which offloads coverage cell. Let's sum up this demonstration. Presented energy saving error was able to control behavior of traffic steering exap through A1 policies. In the first scenario, with decreasing traffic load, ERAP was able to turn off capacity cells to save energy. In the second scenario, with increasing traffic load, ERAP was able to turn on capacity cells again to fulfill user's requirements. Thank you for attention and best regards from Rimado Labs team.